Hey there, explorers. I'm Dr. Brightstone. You know, I just really love being in the jungle, out here in the wild. Um, but I, I lost something, and I was wondering if you could help me find it. It's, um, wait, did you see it? Where? Oh, it's right here. It's a gavel. Do you guys think that you can find the gavel? Judges use a gavel in the courtroom. It's a symbol of their power to make important decisions. Did you find the gavel? There it is. We're still on our adventure today in the Book of Romans. Let's see where we're going to explore today. Wow, that Dr. Bravestone is quite the explorer. Hey there friends, Miss Colleen here. I'm wondering if you have seen my friend Pickles. I'm not sure where he went today. Do you think you could call him with me? Let's yell Pickles on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Pickles! <laughs> oh, hi Pickles! Can you say hi to everybody? Hello! So Pickles, it's really nice to see you. How are you? Okay. Well, well, what's wrong, Pickles? I was just looking in the mirror, and I'm wondering, are my feathers as nice as a flamingo's feathers? Oh, Pickles, you have really nice feathers. But you're a toucan, so why are you thinking you should look like a flamingo? God made you to look like a toucan is supposed to look. I was thinking that if I was a different color, God might love me more. Oh, Pickles, God doesn't have favorites, and he loves you the way you are because he made you. It's not good when we compare ourselves to other people because none of us are perfect. We all mess up. There's only one person who is perfect. Do you know who that is? It's Jesus. When we trust in him, he takes away our sins and brings us into God's family. He sure does. I bet we're gonna learn about comparing ourselves today, aren't we? We sure are. We're gonna look in the book of Romans today and see what Paul had to say to people in the church who were comparing themselves to one another. Let's see what he said. When Paul wrote his letter to the church in Rome, he reminded the people that it doesn't matter what your background is. If you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it doesn't matter the food you eat or the clothes you wear. Paul reminded them that the gospel, the good news that Jesus saves us from our sins, is for everyone. However, the people in the church seem to have forgotten that. The Israelites were God's chosen people. Do you remember when God led them to the promised land? Since they had that special friendship with God, they thought they could judge the Gentiles for their sins. But guess what? Both the Israelites and the Gentiles sinned. Actually, all people sin. That means we all do things that make us feel bad inside or hurt other people and God. But the Israelites judged the Gentiles, even though both groups of people were sinning. Imagine you were eating a really good piece of cake with a friend, and it was so good that you both licked your plates clean. And when you did, you both got some cake on your faces. How would you feel if your friend pointed out the cake on your face and teased you, even though they had cake on their face? It would feel pretty bad and it wouldn't be very loving. So when Paul wrote to the Romans, both the Israelites and the Gentiles in the church in Rome, he told them that only God can be a good judge because he is always perfect and fair. He told the Romans that instead of looking around and seeing the ways other people mess up, they should see that everyone needs a savior because we all sin and that separates us from God. sure am glad that I don't need to compare myself to the flamingos I know. I really didn't want to dye my feathers pink. 
I think it's more than just comparing how we look to other people pickles. What Paul was saying is that when we look for ways that other people mess up, we miss the ways that we sin and the ways that we mess up. Oh wow, I didn't think about it like that. Thanks. Did you know you have a giant piece of cake frosting on your face? Wait, I, I do? Where, where, where is it at? Just kidding. <laughs> Pickles, you are silly. So, there's someone who really is perfect and who never sinned and who never compared himself to others. Ooh, tell me who. I will, right after we sing a song to worship God. in the church in Rome that they shouldn't compare themselves to each other or judge each other because of their sins. That's because they all sinned and they were all separated from God. But Colleen, you said there was someone who is perfect. Who is it? Pickles, I think you know and I think the kids know too. His name starts with the letter J. You're right, Jesus is perfect. And as Paul wrote later on in chapter 3, verses 22 and 23 in Romans, we are made right with God by putting our faith in Jesus Christ. Everyone has sinned. Hey, that's our memory verse. Do you think we could have the kids say our memory verse with us? And can we show them our hand motions? We sure can. Okay, friends, repeat after us. We are made right with God 
by putting our faith in Jesus Christ. Everyone has sinned. Okay, now this time say it with us. We are made right with God by putting our faith in Jesus Christ. Everyone has sinned. Let's say it one last time. We are made right with God by putting our faith in Jesus Christ. Everyone has sinned. Our memory verse says that we're made right with God when we put our faith in Jesus. Is that because he died on the cross for our sins? Yes! When Jesus died on the cross, he took on our punishment for our sin, and then God raised him from the dead. So, when we trust in Jesus, he takes away our sins, and he brings us into God's family? You got it, Pickles! Our takeaway this week is, Jesus saves us from our sins. Thank you guys for joining us today. And remember, you and your grown-ups can find fun activities that go with our message on the RIV website. Let's pray. God, thank you so much that you sent Jesus to take on our sins, to die on the cross, and that you raised him from the dead. And thank you, God, that you love us so much to give us Jesus. I pray that every boy and girl who sees this will trust in Jesus as their Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye!